Hello, welcome back. Right, we are on Wednesday. Um, this isn't much of an accountability vlog when we're now halfway through the week, but <laughs> there you go. And look how stupidly blonde my hair is. Oh, I, I'm, I look like Slytherin. This needs to be sorted out. It's one of the many things on my agenda. So regardless of the fact that I haven't been vlogging, I've been doing, I have been, well, probably with the exception of Monday where, you know, Monday was like one of those days where you get in the shower and just sort of like stare at the wall and before you know it, you've been in the shower for 20 minutes, just like going over weird scenarios in life. I have been at work Monday, Tuesday, I'm at work today. Um, so on Sunday, I cleaned the balcony, sort of tidied everything up. So at the moment I've got loads and loads of planters. I probably can actually show you obviously because I've got like a modern phone, haven't I? I have got a modern phone. So but looking like that with everything piled up here because I'm painting this side. So yeah, accountability. <laughs> That's what I've been doing. So I've painted that this morning because I've had to like wait and wait and wait for um, the weather forecast to actually do what it says. Because, you know, um, I, again, stupidly, instead of reading my horoscope, used the weather forecast to try and predict whether um, it was going to rain. It said that it was going to be glorious all this week at the weekend when I cleaned the balcony, thinking that I could like start painting it on Tuesday. I know it's only Wednesday. So I've, I've done... And the first coat today, having cleaned it, although I've then had to clean it again this morning because the pigeons have been on there. Um, my vendetta against them continues um, because the baby from last year's nesting is nesting this year. I believe it's nesting downstairs. From the look at all the crap that is on their balcony wood, um, oh god it's just so frustrating so anyway yeah so I've been I've been cleaning the balcony and I've started sorting that out doing a bit of weeding I've got loads of planters I need to like cut down how many planters I have this year because last the last two winters have been terrible um frost wise so I've lost a lot of plants from frost um and I know probably some of you just think well why have I got certain types of plants on the balcony so I've been balcony living for at least the last decade in Manchester. Um, been here since 2016 and I've had plants that have been on that balcony all of that time and they've lasted those winters. It's just been the winter of 22 and the winter of 23. Have just, I've had so much frost damage which I've never had before and it's very bizarre. So I've had to like relent and get rid of a few things. Um, and you see as well as I've got a rose which has stopped flowering and, but that's because it's probably very pot bound. Oh my God, there is now a big black cloud coming towards my balcony. Like it can see that I've just painted it. <laughs> I know it's gonna tip with rain tomorrow, AKA Thursday. Well, that's what it's saying. So. It only needs four hours to drive and a dry anyway, and it is only an undercoat. Um, I mean, it does also mean I've had to like I've had to put a bag over the bird feeders because they keep putting peanut husks everywhere, so I can't have that. So they're not happy that the restaurant's closed. Anyway, I've so my husband. We've also been round B and Q um, on the weekend, which you know is just like one of those shopping trips that just makes you want to lose the will to live because it, you just sit I mean I may as well just jack off what I'm doing now and go and get a job at B&Q for the amount of knowledge that the people who work in B&Q have on DIY why they're called DIY.com I have no idea because none of the staff know anything everything that we needed and all we're doing is changing a shower everything that we needed they didn't have um and it was just useless. We ended up going to screw fix and we weren't the only ones because the people in the queue next, the people who were, well, not the queue because we obviously didn't buy anything. Um, the people who were 
standing staring at all the drill bits as well they were like going oh i'm going to screw fix it's half the price so anyway that's happened um we still haven't got a shower tray because all the shower trays have no um there's no depth to them so <sighs> obviously we don't want to flood the neighbors and we do have a bit of slow drainage here so we need to make allowances for the fact that and we need at least that um, in the shower tray and sides on it. But for some reason, everybody who, I mean, I, we're not going to have a wet room. It's like I said to Jason, if um, if I had a house, I would have a wet, I, yeah, I would have a wet room. That sounds like a really fantastic idea um, because, you know, then if you're standing in the room below your wet room, in your actual house um and you start getting rained on you do you immediately know that your wet room is very wet <laughs> but we don't have that option because um i mean looking at looking at all the turd on the balcony are there, there must be a bit uh, downstairs because i mean i remember when our soil pipe burst on our toilet and it started coming through their ceiling. Uh, they emailed, emailed, they, <laughs> they emailed the, the, the uh, letting agent who then emailed the, um, what you call them, the managing agent who don't manage anything. And then they emailed me on the email address that I no longer have. Um, so I saw that email a year later and I was like, ah, I wondered why you didn't ring me. <laughs> you know i ring them they've got my number i don't know why they didn't ring me and say oh excuse me your soil pipe is coming it is it, it, it has moved um so it was only i discovered that because six weeks after that happened i had a little like one of those like faint fairy knocks on the door and somebody going i think you're leaking so because i went down to their apartment and saw this like brown mark on their ceiling so I don't want to be in that situation again so obviously that was resolved that was like five years ago um so i don't want to be in that situation so anyway we're still shopping for a shower tray we have put the floorboard down and because the hole in the, the roof the, there was a lot of leaking the shower tray is out now um we've preliminary cut to size and put up the um what do you call it plasterboard god you know see i you know this the skill of my knowledge i could definitely work for bnq yeah so we preliminary put that up stupidly cut a hole where the pipe is and then thought hmm we haven't bought the shower tray yet so we're probably going to have to shunt the pipe work around because at the minute, I mean, it, uh, everything in this apartment has been bodge, 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 bodge. 2005, this place was built and everything just needs replacing or is just falling apart in some way because of Frank Spencer building. But you see, the, so the sink, so the sink comes down, obviously, where the sink is and then it goes round and then it goes round and then it comes back on itself and then it goes round again to go out the door out, of, out where the waste pipe is so it doesn't really make any sense so underneath the shower that we've just taken out the sink the sink drainage comes out goes back on itself goes round and then goes back out so it's like jason said well why isn't that just a straight line assuming that it's something to do with where the shower tray was but it's just really bizarre so we might have to rethink that because this might be why we've got slow draining water if things are like sharing their pipe work and they don't need to be it's all just very odd <laughs> it's just you just don't know what's going on with, <laughs> with the way things are going oh my god i haven't had enough coffee this morning either and the fact that I've already got up and I've done stuff. Yesterday I did a massive clean up because it was really disgusting in here. I've been in because I'd been tidying up and tidying up the balcony. I've been in and out and in and out and I'd made a mess in here. And it it made a mess in there. 
the hoover was all clogged up anyway because we'd hoovered up some like crap from the bathroom so I've done it yesterday I didn't do any reselling work because I was just doing a deep clean of everything mop the hoovering and mopping the floors changed the bedding did two lots of laundry done more laundry today so there's been a lot going on hence why all of these sets I haven't done anything with them they're still sat there um oh I'm just a waste of space. So, because I've been fa faffing around all this morning, I mean, I've had two showers because I didn't trust myself. I knew I had a white spaced dress to get out. And because I'd just been doing the painting, I know what I'm like. For some reason, when I do painting, I always get a bit on my elbow there. Um, I probably have. No. So... I have got it all off. I tried to like clean a mole off of my finger, you know, and then I was like, yeah, I have had that mole since I was a kid. So I'm not going to be cleaning that off. <laughs> I was convinced that, it, that, yeah, it must, it must be some creosote. No, 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 it wasn't. <laughs> so anyway, I've got four things which I've got to pop in the post. It hasn't been great on eBay, but I haven't been listing. I mean, I'm like putting like one or two things on as a, if I'm even managing that. I did pop some things on yesterday. Um, but, you know, it was either take photographs with loads of like dust balls flying around or clean up. And I just thought, let's clean up. <laughs> I'm, I feel like I'm incessantly cleaning. Anyway, this dress is gorgeous. I love this. I wish I could squeeze into this, but obviously I can't because I'm not a size 10. Um, now that I'm getting better, I realise I probably did lose a lot of waist bit, weight because of anemia because I've gone back up to 11 stone. Hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. Um, I'll just give up. Anyway, I love this. I, I'm a sucker for cherry print. Hopefully somebody's going to be wearing this to a wedding or something or maybe they're just going to rock spring in a very amazing way and that is new look i have got 20 pounds for that that's probably an offer that i've sent out um where are we with everything i should have started doing this ages ago the fact that it's midday now it just means that all i'm going to end up doing is my post monging out for a little bit and then going to work <sighs> what am i doing right i have this bag this is a lululemon bag it has got the logo on it there it is just like a little like tote shopper is what they call it um it has got handles but obviously i've been storing it I sort of looked at the boxes this morning and I was like, woe betide if that is like right at the bottom again. I keep selling stuff that's right in the corner. <laughs> it's just really annoying me because I'm so backed up in that room. Um, it's like yesterday, yesterday somebody, it, I mean obviously in the shop, this, I've seen some, when I keep going into my shifts at the shop, I've seen loads of like really good stuff. Yesterday, a customer bought a Universal Works chore jacket for like four pounds. And I was like, no. And it's really, really annoyed me <laughs> because I was tidying up the coats as well. And I potentially would have seen it. But then I had to keep going to the till because it's just generally very busy. It's just like one of them. And then I just think you really like need to like not worry about stuff like that when you have a pile of stuff in there which you haven't dealt with for over a month because you've been ill <laughs> so it's been it's probably been six weeks now since i was um hospital in hospital but so there you go so yeah just a little shopper i've only got four pounds for this don't like rush out and get them this is just a bag that i had oh, I, I actually had this this had some donated goods in it and it was just sort of like flung to the side it wasn't going out on the shop floor i bought some books back in it and then thought oh i'll just look that up and some people get 8.99 for it not me this is a bit crumpled obviously because it's been used so yeah fascinating content isn't it and then yesterday i'm swear to god my mind is like looped into um ebay these days because 
whenever I think, it's like, because I thought about that dress and I was like, oh, I wonder why that dress hasn't sold. And then there's something else and I was, I, I thought about something and then suddenly it had watches on eBay. Very, very odd. Um, but again, things aren't going to sell because I haven't done a refresh. Haven't done a refresh. So I've got two, and yeah, so anyway, I was thinking about Lego yesterday. And I was like, I wonder why I haven't sold any Lego. Usually it flies out of the door, which would just make me think, oh, don't tell me that that's gone for a Burton as well. And then I've sold two Lego things. How much is this sold for? I actually don't know. Probably 15 pounds for this. Oh, what is wrong with me? I don't even know. The birds keep turning up and wondering why the restaurant's closed. <laughs> the trouble with, because this is this is my other account, the trouble with me going in on this, and this proves that Office to Watch is, is absolute garbage. Most of those people are not interested because every time I go into my listings on here and then I go and do my... Um, I go and do my offers to watchers. I get offers on here if I've, you know, just gone into something once. Yeah, 15 pounds for that. Just, yeah. So let me tell you other stuff, which I've sold a jigsaw. I've sold two jigsaws actually. I'd just like to get through them. Uh, uh, so the most notable things that I've sold over the weekend were a Paul Smith sweatshirt, which I got 35 quid for. Did I? I feel like that was an offer to watches. I didn't realise I had so much auction stuff that was just going round and round. Yeah, so I've sold two Jan Van Hasteren t-shirts, -shirt, t um, jigsaws, and even, they were even quite big ones as well, like large amount of pieces, but I've barely got £10 for them, so I need to like stop doing that. Um, yeah, another thing that I've got here is a leather jacket so this was really nice buttery soft um leather jacket there and some people are getting a hundred pounds for them it's man manigance paris maybe i've misspelt that what's manigance have i misspelt that maybe that's why i haven't sold it maybe i'm just like completely clapped out can't spell manigans manigans no it is manigans yeah so anyway i've only got 25 quid for that i don't know how every, other people are getting like 100 quid for that um i mean how many people can truly be money laundering in the world probably not that many sold a few books and that's it really it's just it was it's been very poor i've sold two personal items <laughs> you know typically as it you know there are a lot of these like personal clothing items which i had on my business account just because i just thought oh it'll just help with the algorithm there's no harm in putting them on there it's easier to list them on there and sell similar um typically those things have sold uh and then i one of the other things which is probably worth mentioning is I had an icebreaker merino there over the weekend. Small, had a hole in it that I'd repaired, got £20 for that. Fascinating stuff. It's not great. The rest of it is just all like 10 a penny sales, really. So yeah, I've sold that for 15 and then I've sold that for 20. That's the roller coaster. If you're really that fascinated, you can go on the listing because obviously I've got my link below. Because I do do a little video of that on my eBay listing. I am trying to do videos where it's necessary. And um, I do have a YouTube video of me putting that together. If you're that fascinated. So yeah, 20 quid for that. I've still yet to list the rest of the stuff. It's photographed and it's sat around the corner there and I haven't done anything with it. <sighs> and I'm annoyed with myself because of that. So anyway, I've got a box of Carlo, which is definitely the best type of box to use to send your Lego to children. In. A definite must. Right, so that's me done for today. I have no time to do anything other than 
post this and go to work and and deal with, with that. <laughs> um, yesterday somebody came to the till and she wanted to buy she wanted to buy something and she assumed that we had the the, uh, the boxes were empty on this was actually new goods she assumed that we had the, uh, the boxes empty and that we went out the back to get the product <laughs> so I said my colleague she she says oh sorry about that it seems that it's been stolen because the packet was just completely empty because we get a, there, there is masses and masses of theft and then she was and then she was she was sort of like stood around like waiting and I was like no seriously we we haven't got it it's been stolen and I says it just it happens a lot here and I like says I, and then I said something like oh um well maybe they'll you'll they'll get their just desserts when they die you know and then they'll bring it up on a computer and it will come up with all the things that they've done wrong and then she started saying that I should read the Quran because in the Quran they have exactly the same thing where if you're bad they bring up everything you've done in your life and if you're bad you go left and if you you're decent then you go right <laughs> and then they take you the angels or something take you off to be dealt with <laughs> <laughs> so there you are the um the theories behind religion are supposedly the same <laughs> but anyway yeah uh, i think there was there was two things that have been stolen yesterday that <laughs> some, somebody stolen I, th I think people just do it just to get a kick out of you because so much of the packaging which is right next to the till has had stuff taken out of it and these people they just they probably enjoy the fact that we're stood at the till and we don't notice them taking it and then they're going to go home and pleasure themselves to to that so i mean good luck to these people <laughs> people are always very horrified when they're like people steal from a charity shop uh yeah <laughs> <laughs> anyway i've got a i have literally got to like pack this up and and go to work so I'm afraid that's it for today. Um, I will try and be back tomorrow. I'm wondering whether I'm going to do a haul video. I'm wondering whether I'm going to do a haul video. I think possibly I am because there is such a mountain of clothes in there that I need to process because at some point it's going to fall on top of me and then Jason, uh, you know, I'll not be able to go to work because I'll be under a mountain of clothes or something or something will have fallen on me. So that's possibly what's going to happen tomorrow because I need to just get on top of it. I'm probably not going to make a photograph much of it tomorrow because it's supposed to be battering with rain. But if I start the process, hopefully I can photograph it on Friday morning before I go to work. <sighs> There's logic. Right. So thank you for watching. I will be back again soon. I am filming sort of ish the balcony tidy up if that's what you call it well it is isn't it <laughs> so that will be coming as <laughs> it's gonna it's gonna take me at least two to three weeks to do this video because i've got i've got to do obviously i've got everything piled up on one section of the balcony and i've got to like paint and then paint again and wait for it to dry then move everything over and then clean and do the second part it's just gonna take for so long <laughs> and it's just held up when the weather doesn't know what it's doing no, the weather knows what it's doing. The weather forecasters don't know what they're doing. They have one job and they can't, they can't do it. <laughs> right, so anyway, thank you for watching. I will be back again, hopefully tomorrow. So, I will see you anon. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Please do all of the things that make you feel better and make other people feel better. You know, share the love. Goodbye.